Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. I hope you all had a blessed holiday season. I hope you spent some time with your family. If you're like me, you're probably recovering from all the food that you ate yesterday. Well, it's back to the news today, and we have an interesting story. Now, this is coming from DSOGgaming.com, and like usual, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now, NVIDIA has claimed that their GeForce RTX 2080 is more powerful than a next generation GPU. Now this came at GTC China 2019 at the keynote presentation by NVIDIA CEO Jensen. Now he claims that the RTX 2080 is more powerful than the next generation consoles, but there were a few little caveats that we're gonna get into with this article. Now the article goes on to say that NVIDIA CEO has claimed that the GeForce RTX 2080 is more powerful than the next generation console. Jensen claims that both the RTX 2080 and RTX 2080 TI will be more powerful than either the PlayStation 5 or the next Xbox console. Now they had a slide they presented and it compares the RTX 2080 with only one next generation consoles. As such the article states they don't know whether Nvidia is comparing it to the PlayStation 5 or the next generation Xbox. They also don't know whether the green team is comparing the RTX 2080 with Lockhart, the less powerful next generation Xbox. They also go on to say not to forget that the RTX 2080 has been out for more than a year and a half and furthermore both of the next generation consoles will come out a year from now and that this obviously means that both Microsoft and Sony have enough time in order to further enhance and tweak the GPUs of their consoles. Not only that but console GPUs are more efficient when it comes to overall performance and optimization. Since the video did not clarify what next generation console is actually in its slide we can only speculate about it and with that being said it could very well be the lock card and not the high end model of the next generation xbox now uh, there's so many things wrong with this statement here and i have to address a few of the trolls to be completely honest with you now this morning i woke up to a tweet i tweeted out yesterday when somebody uh, put this article out and i said you know how would nvidia know what amd is going to be bringing with their next generation gpus and somebody said oh they make gpus so of course they know it doesn't work like that just because they make GPUs does not mean that they know what the competition will be bringing to the table. Do they have spies at AMD that are reporting all the information to them and letting them know every step of development with their next generation GPUs? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. If it worked like that, Intel would not be in the trouble that they are in and they would have had plenty of time to prepare. But unfortunately for Intel, that was not the case. And as you all know, Ryzen right now is the number one CPU. Everybody's buying Ryzen processors. They are really killing Intel in every single segment of the market. Now, these companies, they hold a lot of things close to their chest. They don't show their cards too much. Now, we can speak speculate on um you know the power that these uh GPUs will deliver because you know they're usually better than the generation before and also too there's been some you know information that's come out from Microsoft stating that their console is going to have a GPU that will be twice as powerful as the Xbox One X which of course is a six teraflop GPU twice as powerful is you know 12 teraflops um, we also have some reports from Windows Central from dealer from a lot of people that um, have really good sources that have also claimed that the next generation console is 12 teraflops now an RTX 2080 is 10 teraflops of performance the last time i checked a 12 teraflop gpu does beat a 10 teraflop gpu we also know that these consoles will have ray tracing so the argument saying that these are ray tracing gpus and amds are not is really thrown out the window because they will both have ray tracing on their next generation gpus you also have some that will say that amd's gpus do not match up teraflop to teraflop compared to nvidia's offering now this used to be a thing in the past unfortunately for nvidia this no longer is the case as digital foundry did an analysis on the rdna gpus the navi gpus and compared them tflop to tflop to nvidia's offering and they concluded that they are on par with what nvidia is doing now with this said this would mean that a 12 teraflop gpu would outperform a 10 teraflop gpu 
from NVIDIA. Now, we're not comparing NVIDIA's new architecture, what they're gonna bring out with the RTX 3080 or 3080 Ti, whatever those GPUs will bring. We're comparing it to a 2080, and I do believe a 12 teraflop RDNA GPU will perform better than a 10 teraflop RTX GPU. And furthermore, it appears that the next generation consoles will have an RDNA 2 GPU inside of it because they're doing ray tracing, which will make it even more efficient. As well, some people are under the impression that a year and a half, two year old GPU cannot be beaten by a new architecture or by a new GPU, which is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. If you want my honest take on it, I think NVIDIA is actually scared at what AMD is planning to do in 2020, and they should be. If we have any indication on what happened with Intel, it looks like AMD is about to disrupt the GPU market. Now, I've heard some rumors that their next generation GPU is gonna be 20 teraflops of performance. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's such a high number that I, I just can't sit there and claim it and say, yes, this is gonna be true. This is what's gonna happen. I'm just reporting what I heard. Now, if this is indeed true and they have a 20 teraflop GPU, it's gonna be a crazy time in 2020. Now, we're gonna have a presentation at CES 2020, and hopefully we're gonna get some more information on AMD's next generation graphic cards. But to those out there that think NVIDIA knows exactly what AMD will be bringing to the table next generation, they do not know. Uh, they can only guess. These next generation consoles will be a step ahead of what we've had this generation, and it's looking like they're gonna compete with you know the lower end of the high-end PC spectrum. I really do expect these consoles to deliver 2080 performance, at least the Xbox Series X from the information that we've gotten so far. Now, NVIDIA coming out and counteracting this already, kind of tells me that they're low-key scared. Now, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think the next generation consoles will be more powerful than an RTX 2080? Do you think that they will be more efficient than an RTX 2080? And how do you think they will perform with their ray tracing capabilities in comparison to the RTX series of graphic cards? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.